Hello everyone, and welcome to part 9 of Point and Click Game. So yeah, this series has been on a bit of a hiatus due to writer's block. And so, so far we have a game where these blocks come out and you can shoot them and then they just disappear. And I did uh, go and create the um, script here that you uses our time dot delta time in order to just launch these blocks at certain given points in time. However, there's still a lot that needs to do. On a technical side, this game is functioning. Like we have some sort of user input and the program does some sort of output. But the problem is, it's not fun. And, I mean, these just shoot up, and you click them, they disappear, and eventually they stop coming. What I want to do, yeah, for the next few episodes, we're going to be working on polishing up the game in order to make it a lot more enjoyable. For one thing, we are going to make it so these actually explode and have, like, a sound effect of maybe glass shattering when these are destroyed. And we'll also have some other visual stuff going on, like maybe have these objects cast shadows onto the background in order to make it look like it's just a 2D backdrop. And maybe even do other visual effects, like make it so when you do click, the uh, screen flashes white for a second. Give like it's a uh, muzzle flare from the gun that fires that. So you have this blast of light when you uh, shoot. And yeah, we'll have sound, score. That's basically the main components of what we got to work on. So I feel like the best way to do this is to create a new scene. Let's go to File, New Scene. And let's just name this, uh, let's just name this our test for shooting. And what we're going to do here is just polish up how the shooting mechanics works and add sound effects. So first, I'm going to get the crosshair over here. Oh yeah. So yeah, I'm going to do that by taking the camera and moving it to our... Actually... Let's just add the crosshair script to the camera and move the camera crosshair from our prefab into the scene. So now we have this going on. In fact, I wonder, can I have the crosshair be... Okay, that makes things easier, because with the camera as a child of the crosshair, I can save this as one prefab that has both the camera and the crosshair, so anytime I need to create a new scene, I can just drag and drop the camera with the crosshair and build the level from there. Where were we? We've got to... So, for the first part of polishing, I just like to focus on the animations and the sound effects. So let's take this. So when you're playing the game, you're going to scroll over to the, um, the block, and you're going to left-click to shoot it. Okay, I need to make these other blocks to prefabs. I'm just going to go, and as you may remember, you go from the hierarchy and drag to here. That way we can just use it whenever. Okay, so I have my block. 
and I'm going to turn off gravity because just for testing the sound effects, I want to be able to be precise with shooting this. So that's all that happens when you left click. It disappears. So what sound effect should I have? I want one for shooting the crosshair, one for when you do a successful hit, I want this block to be destroyed and sound like shattering glass or something. Now a really good place to go for assets is this website opengameart.org and it just has a bunch of free assets that you can use for your game and I think some online websites, flash games on online websites use assets from here. So let's say you want a sound effect for shattering glass. I just go down to shattering glass, go down to browse, go to sound effects, and search for a general term that I would associate with the sound that I want to happen. And with the break, I can get a bunch of these different sounds, you know, and based on some variables, the depends on whether or not what you search for will be relevant to what pops up. So just keep your searches really general, just a general sound, and just click these in order to see if you like it, and if you do, you can get it to your uh, game. So getting a sound to play in Unity, we when you find your um, sound, at least from this website, you click the title, and it'll give you this WAV file that you can download. So if I were to click that, it goes to Downloads, and if you want, you could save that directly to Unity. Uh, and then it'll show up as a WAV file, and you can play it in Unity. Yeah, you can play it by going down here, clicking this play button, and you can experiment with different sounds. You can even experiment with different, uh, with these things. I don't really use them too often because they're a bit more complicated. And I just want to keep this simple. So now to get the bottle break sound to play from this block, I'm going to go to add component and audio and create an audio source because I want the audio to emit from here. Then audio clip, I choose the bottle break sound. Now if I were to click play, the sound plays once and never again. I want it to only play when I click this block and it gets destroyed. In order to do that, I'm going to have to access this sound from the script. So let's open the script and begin coding. Alright, back to our code. So. This function is what's controlling the hit. Wait a minute. Okay, never mind about that. That was for a different project. I'm not sure why that opened. Okay, yeah, this looks like it. So here we want to play the sound and then destroy the game object. We can forget about printing click now because that was just for debugging. So this bit of code is going to look very similar. We're going to get the component for the audio source we just created. And we're going to play that audio clip. And then it's going to get destroyed. So if I were to go into Unity, Code Compiles, and I click Play, I can click this. OK, game. Okay, I'm going to try commenting out the destroy and seeing if that works. Okay, it works then. So it seems like this video is going to need two parts. So next time we're going to fix this bug and then add the muzzle fl flash and the gunshot noise when you do click. And we'll continue doing other polishing like that. Anyway, thank you for watching.